Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, hello, my name is Jessica. Subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, don't forget to turn on the notification bell, that way you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. So as you guys can see with the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing a review on a designer dupe that I found on DHgate. Also, if you notice that I'm whispering, it's because I'm trying my hardest to be as quiet as possible. I'm currently in a hotel room and it's very, very quiet in here. Also, if you hear like planes in the background, that's because I'm literally right next to the airport. So please don't mind me whispering as well as any planes that you might hear in the background. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. I'm so excited. So this right here is the listing that I'm going to be reviewing today. I did purchase this myself and in total, I want to say it was under $75. That was including the bag and taxes at the end. It did take about two weeks to receive this bag, which was so quick. All of the previous orders that I've made on DHgate took about a month. And if you guys haven't seen those videos of me reviewing those designer dupes, I will have them listed down below in the description box, as well as leaving some cards up on the screen somewhere in case you wanna check those out. Those are really, really good. I believe both of them were under $40. This one, however, was a little bit more pricey. This one was under $70. It retails, as you can see right here, for 65, but with taxes and all, it does climb up a little bit, but not too much. So this is the box that it came in. Very minimal packaging here, it just has the logo. And then inside of the box comes the dust bag where the bag is on the inside. We'll get to that here in a bit. And then it also gives you this little paper, which is just like a sales memo or like a receipt, if you will, of the product. That's what comes inside the box. Now let's get to the good stuff. So this is the dust bag again, like I said. Here's the back of the dust bag. It's really soft. And the bag, you guys, I was floored when I opened it up to see what it looked like. So this is the bag right here. And then the back of it, the strap is on the inside. So let's open it up. It does have a magnetic closure. And I just take out the strap and it looks like this. I've had this bag for about a month and I've worn it out already and I love it so much. It is a very structured bag, like it doesn't bend very easily. And then this also is a little bit on the stiffer side. They did have this bag in several other colors. I, however, went with the black one just because I knew that I was more likely to actually wear it out. Although I was torn between this style and the style that has the flap over it. I'll put a picture up right here in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But I did see them both on the listing that I was looking at. They had both available, but I just decided to go with this one because this one was a little bit bigger than the one with the flap over it. But overall, I'm really happy with my decision. So let me show you guys how this looks on the body. So here it is on my shoulder. I feel like the strap is the perfect length. It also falls at a really good length as well. It's like right at my hip. Here it is from the front. I feel like it's really slim, but surprisingly, like I said, it can fit a lot of stuff in it. And I feel like overall, the quality of the bag is really nice. It's a good price. It arrives in two weeks, which is crazy fast in my opinion. And it's just really, really pretty. I'm so happy with this purchase. So now let's see how much I can actually fit in here. So inside the main compartment, there is another smaller pocket on the inside and that's where I'm gonna be placing my wallet. So I'm just gonna slide it right in and it fits perfectly. I'm gonna grab my ear pods cause I can't go anywhere without my ear pods. And I'm gonna put them right in there. Blotting sheets are gonna go in the same pocket where I put my wallet. Poopery because poopery is essential. <laughs> Hand sanitizer, a roller perfume, Three lip products. I have a lip liner, a lip balm, and a lipstick. Some gum. Keys. Cell phone. For reference, I have an iPhone 11. And here are all the items inside the bag, as you can see. And there it is, clasped together. And everything fits in here pretty nicely. And it still looks pretty sleek and compact, which is shocking because I put quite a lot of stuff in here. At least all of my essential items fit in here perfectly. So if you're someone who just likes to carry your essentials with you, I think that this is definitely worth the investment. It's not too expensive in my opinion for like the quality dupe. I also think that this style and silhouette is very classic, very timeless. So you can definitely keep it around for years and years and still wear it. So 
I do think that this is a pretty good investment piece in my opinion. Overall, I feel like this bag is such a great dupe. It's a really good find and in my opinion, it's pretty affordable. And I will of course have this bag linked down in the description box below. So if you are interested, make sure that you check it out. It is down there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification that way you're notified every time I upload a brand new video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.